How do inventors come up with the next best product? Sometimes inventors have an aha moment of sudden inspiration, but this isn't the case for everyone. There are also methodical ways to find great undiscovered ideas. One way to brainstorm ideas is to draw a mind map. A mind map is a diagram that visually organizes information that stems from a central topic. Think of a mind map as a way to break open a topic into different problems, insights, or ideas. This process of divergent thinking can lead you on a path to the next great invention. So, where do we start? The first step in creating a mind map is to pick a central topic. If your goal is to invent the next best product, you could start with something already on the market. What's a product that you'll use all the time, but could be more comfortable, more interesting, or more sustainable? For our purpose, let's focus on a chair. Mind maps could take several forms. We can start by listing the different parts of the chair, such as fasteners, legs, seat, cushion, backrest, and armrests. At this point, you might start identifying specific problems about the parts of the chair. For example, fasteners can deteriorate over time and many parts of a chair can be uncomfortable. Next, you might move on to list the materials that make up a chair, add its uses, and even the user type. Mind mapping is all about making a visual representation of what's in your head. So use it creatively to help you deconstruct a familiar product as we've done here. You can also take it a step further and begin to form new connections or identify common problems. For instance, there are sustainability issues with many chair materials. And most classroom chairs are just plain boring. When we take a step back to look at the bigger picture, we can see how mind mapping helps us identify several invention opportunities, such as chairs that are more durable, comfortable, sustainable, or exciting. However, we can also see how quickly mind mapping can become quite complex. Here are some tips and best practices to ensure your mind map doesn't look like this. Which leads us to tip one. Your mind map will probably be messy. As your logic and categories become clearer, you should reorganize or redraw the map. Tip number two, keep your writing in short phrases. Too much text can make the mind map harder to understand. In tip number three, use different colors or shapes to make your mind map clearer. Research has shown that mind mapping can significantly increase learning, creativity, and problem solving. As you go through your day, you're thinking of new questions, expanding lines of thought, and making connections between concepts. Because of this, mind maps are an effective way to get information in and out of your brain. And they're also a creative and logical way to take notes. Some applications of mind maps could be outlining an essay, summarizing a complex topic, or even planning a trip. Whatever reasons you have for mind mapping, you now have an addition to your toolbox for ideating and innovating. So what will you create?